Hi, this is Apple 1975 and welcome to Combine 24-7, or Black Ops 3 as it's commonly known. Why oh why they haven't altered it so I don't have to play this map over and over and over again every time I go on solo. Every time I go on this game, just for a few games, going on solo, I get Combine you know, almost straight away and then it stays on Combine and I either have to leave the lobby and find a new one or play Combine after Combine after Combine. It may as well be combined 24 7 playlist because that's pretty much what TDM is at the moment and with it going to 100 it just drags on a little bit when you're playing the same map over and over and over again but like many people I'm not playing a great deal of this game so I'm bringing you this gameplay because I'm bereft of other gameplays on other maps if I don't play other maps I can't get gameplay on other maps which is kind of annoying this is an okayish game. Yes, I'm being cheap as hell and I'm using the Nomad and Hives. And I'm using a Vespa with laser sight and grip, which is my favorite submachine gun by a fourth country mile. I use it very often in Arena because it's constantly getting banned in the pick and ban system. That and the MA constantly get banned, which leaves me using guns I'm not particularly good with and not guns I'm used to using. So, I might have to start using the VMP more in public match just so I get used to it because I'm having to use it in every other game in Arena. Oh, I do loathe the pick and ban system. I kind of wish they'd just sat down and, you know, set out what is banned and what isn't. Because while the pick and ban system, I can understand it from a point of view, it's quite a good idea, but in practice, it's just five minutes of sitting around waiting for people to pick things. Added to that, you've got to wait then for them to do the specialist draft, then you've got to wait, and by the time you actually get into an arena game, you can kiss goodbye to a good 10 minutes, and you'll probably get someone rage quit because something you wanted to use gets banned. So, while I like the concept of the pick and ban system, in practice, all it's doing is wasting my time. And that's what this game seems to be good at doing, is wasting my time. You don't really need so much time between games. You really don't need so much time at the end of games. You really, really don't need that much time to set up an arena game. You really don't need that much time with the pick and ban system. By the time you actually play this game, by the time you actually get into a game and start shooting people, you know, you've probably been sat at your Xbox for 10, 15 minutes. It's really, really annoying. It's not like any of the older Call of Duty's, which were quick fixes. You know, you could switch it on and within minutes be in game after game after game after game. Now you've got this whole menagerie of rubbish that comes with each game. It comes before and comes after each game. New unlocks. Hey, new COD points. Yay, take a trip to the black market. Just, just give me games. I just want to play. I don't want to sit around in lobbies waiting to play. And I certainly, certainly do not want to be spending my time where I want to be playing, picking to ban one single item. Just sit down with a group of people and pick 20 things and just ban them from Arena, and then go from there. Just look at what the pros are on banning and ban all that. Ban all the explosives, ban all the C4, because to be honest, eight pick and bans isn't enough to get rid of all the cheese in this game. This is definitely a really cheesy Call of Duty. Probably over the top on the cheese front, with way too many overpowered and stupid things in it, from specialist abilities to ridiculous guns to C4 and shock charges. You know, there's a lot of cheesy shit in this game, and having eight pick and bans isn't enough to get rid of or cleanse the palette enough. There's always going to be something that gets through, whether it be stealth camouflage, overdrive, or you know, the ability to treat kinetic armor to break a hard point. It is kind of annoying and kind of, well, just cheesy. 
That's what this game has been since day one of its release. It's always been a cheese fest. I do feel it was not marketed at someone like me, but marketed at a younger generation with bright, shiny colours and stupid characters. And the fact you can pay to get shit unlocked. It just feels like it was designed for children. Which is odd considering it's 18 rating. It's kind of coming to an end, it's kind of wrapping up. Just like everything in this game, it seems to take ages to do it. Now, as to the gameplay, like I say, this wasn't a bad TDM. I didn't fail too badly. And it's a reasonable score. And I get a nice final kill cam. But look at how long it takes from this to get to the actual scoreboard. Because that was just me pushing the select button to see the scoreboard. To get to the actual scoreboard, you've got to go through all this shit. You've got to go through all the taunts and dance routines and silly stuff that people can do. Added to that, you've already just played an eight minute game and then you're looking at a good 10 minutes before you're in the next one. It's a pain in the ass. Just, you know, speed it up. But that's all, and thank you very much for watching.